If electrification were a cake, at what stage would we be at in terms of the baking? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we are standing in the kitchen. We have a recipe book in front of us. We know exactly how to make this. Now it's just about getting down to business and making the thing. This isn't just exciting, this is electrifying. It's much better than anything we've seen before. Where do I start? Our current energy system is, quite frankly, stupid. It's incredibly wasteful. Electrification is about the complete transformation of our energy system. Away from fossil fuels to electrons. A much cleaner and ultimately energy efficient technology. We are at what we would call the inflection point. Solar power, heat pumps, batteries and electric vehicles and all these other technologies are getting cheaper much faster than many of us realize and thereby are outcompeting our fossil fuel economy. A lot of us are putting solar panels on our roof now, we've got wind turbines everywhere. Batteries then are a really interesting technology because they allow you to store the energy and when the power grid does need it, you can then take that energy back out and sell it back to the grid. 10% of vehicles, or just over that already, are now electric. That might not sound like much, but what we tend to find is that 10% is about the point where some of these really technologies tend to take off. We've seen that in the past with mobile phones, with dishwashers, with microwaves. As soon as you get into mass markets, acceleration tends to happen very quickly. We probably have a bit of sense of deja vu. Our entire energy infrastructure needs to be upgraded. We're talking about millions of kilometers of new cabling. We're talking about terawatt hours of energy generation capacity. We're talking about battery storage capacity. We probably need to revitalize our entire built environment and completely rethink some of our industrial processes. And this is a true system, an energy system with bits and bobs everywhere that we need to rethink, re-engineer, redesign, replace or completely build from scratch. And that is very much where the investment opportunity lies. So yeah, it's a big deal. What's very interesting about electrification or the generation of green power is that it isn't dependent on the price of volatile and non-renewable commodity. We're going to move to a much more stable energy system and that creates lots of further investable opportunities because we can predict how much things are going to cost. This is a global transition across all sectors, across all regions with a lot of untapped opportunities for companies, for businesses, for policymakers and ultimately for investors. Look, I'm going to retire in January 2051, exactly when we're supposed to be targeting and hitting net zero. Are we going to get there all the way quickly enough? I hope so, but I know that electrification is probably the most significant step that's going to get us there. And this is history in the making.